What is good YouTube and welcome back to a brand new video if you're seeing this right now That means the Tennessee Titans lost the Cincinnati Bengals in the divisional round So we're here doing a Titans offseason realistic rebuild now before we get into today's video guys If you could leave a like and of course subscribe if you haven't already helps grow the channel and is always always greatly appreciated But man, oh man if the Tennessee Titans did if you guys are seeing this like I said and the Titans did lose to the Bengals That would be a pretty disappointing season for them. So uh, yeah, they got Derrick Henry off IR. Obviously, I'm not going to know what happened because I just, you know, I'm pre recording this the night before, so we're not really sure what's going to happen. So let's just, you know, assume you guys are going to see this, of course, and I'm going to do that same thing with the Bengals video. And we're going to start to rebuild the Titans based off if they lost. So let's go ahead and take a look and get started and see who are some free agents for the Tennessee Titans team. So I see we actually have a number of important free agents here. You know, the top three are very, very important. So let's go ahead and make sure we secure these guys. So I don't want to lose. I mean, that's our whole linebacker core who are all 27 and younger. So yeah, I would appreciate keeping all of them. So let's just go ahead and get started by re-signing everybody, hopefully here. So uh, 12 and five season divisional round ended up being, uh, wow, Rashad Evans is just not interested in signing. I do not want to franchise tag him necessarily, but I definitely want to keep him. So I don't know, man. I'm kind of uh, caught, but I'm going to try to resign him in free agency for sure. And then Jayon Brown, I want back as well. So we'll go ahead and sign John Brown. We don't have a ton of money going into free agency, uh, but there is uh, definitely some things we do need to improve on. Ben Jones. Um, <clears throat> I mean, it would be nice to keep, uh, you know, a little bit of our offensive line. So I'll go ahead and offer Ben Jones a contract. Never mind. He's going to test free agency. So we're not going to get him back either. All right. Well, let's just go ahead and take a look what our roster looks like currently and see where we can improve. So it looks like we have little to no cap space. Not good. And this will be the first time I've ever actually rebuilt the Titans on madden so this should be fun so obviously we have julio and aj brown as we know of course derrick henry is the heart and soul of this team and you know they're the run first offense they love him so much uh the offensive line looks decent definitely could be better but defensively uh obviously if we lose rashad evans that's a huge loss uh but other than that yeah the corners could definitely be improved so there's definitely some work to be done not gonna lie you got bird obviously uh kevin bird which is great so you, you like him a lot at free safety definitely happy with that linebacker core looks pretty good obviously if you lose rashad evans free agency that would not be good uh but we also have chris farley here who i believe is an up and coming corner so uh or kayla farley uh farley my apologies not chris farley so let's just go ahead and go into free agency and uh well first and foremost i kind of want to see if i can uh free up some money i guess before we go into free agency day one so is there anyone on this roster making a stupid amount of money to maybe free up a little bit? So savings, uh, we have 19 million. It looks like we can cut a 77 overall middle linebacker, who I believe the Titans got from the Texans, and we'd save about $10 million with $0 penalty. So I think that's uh, definitely going to be one we're going to make. We're going to cut Zach Cunningham to free up $10.50 million. I think that makes a ton of sense. And then let's see if there's anything else like that. So we have Ryan Tannehill, but I'm not going to cut him. Obviously, he's our quarterback. Uh, we have a left tackle would free about but it doesn't make sense to do that bird i mean that's another interesting one derrick henry obviously we're not going to cut and then uh we have ben jones who is a up uh, who's a free agent obviously uh so it looks like uh we pretty much freed up as much money as we possibly could by cutting zach cunningham so we freed up about 10 million dollars so hopefully that's gonna be able to help us out just a tad bit so let's just go ahead and see what day one of free agency is gonna look like for us this is gonna be pretty interesting so um let's get to day one and not click on the mock draft didn't mean to do that so let's look at day one so day one i've tried to improve this team not a ton of cap space not a ton of flexibility how are we going to fix this roster is the question so let's go ahead and go to free agency and uh let's see what we're gonna be able to do so obviously we want rashad evans 100 uh so i don't really want to lose rashad evans in free agency i'm gonna try to bring him back as one of my number one priorities here so that gives us about 60 million dollars if we do keep him so we are his number one offer so that's great. We have about $15 million after that. So let's go take a look now that everyone is gone and see what our lineup officially looks like. So taking a look at the lineup, obviously we have no center, no tackle. So that's our big and no tight end either. So that's going to be uh, a huge, uh, huge, huge uh, need there. And then we get Rashad Evans back. As far as a defense, a defensive tackle wouldn't hurt as well. We need a tackle. We need a lot of things low key. So uh, I didn't honestly it's kind of crazy how much this Titans team actually needs uh, considering that they are one of the better teams in the AFC right now but I mean they're the number one seed so looking at them and Madden Christian Fulton I like as well so I guess our corners aren't terrible I thought it looked bad but it's not terrible uh, defensive line we need a defensive tackle like I said we have D'Amico Autry uh, D'Amico Autry here 
Bud Dupree, who is actually, uh, or he's 29 now. I thought he was a lot younger than that. And then I believe this is Armani, Armani Hooker, 24 years old. So the safety core isn't bad. So basically, hopefully get Rashad Evans back. And then defensively, we might go for Sebastian Joseph Day in free agency, who I saw as well. And then if we get lucky, we'll try to get maybe a center or tight end or tackle. That's pretty much what we're going to need for this. So let's go to uh, free agency again. And let's see if we can find a way to maybe snag Sebastian Joseph Day as a defensive tackle. We are, are going to need a D tackle as well. So getting a nose tackle here would be pretty much a great addition. So let's sign him. Would be his number one offer by quite a bit. So we definitely need both these guys back. Would be huge upgrades to the defense. Well, bringing Rashad Evans back is going to be important. So I'm just going to go ahead and offer him a little bit more money just to be sure we get Rashad Evans and Sebastian Joseph Day. No one offers by quite a bit on both sides. We're going to go ahead and submit to next week with those two offers on the table. Obviously not a ton of money to work with. Oh, we only have 39 players under contract, man. Holy crap. Okay. This is definitely not good. <laughs> I have a feeling we're not going to make the playoffs this next year. Wow, we still didn't get Rashawn Evans even after all of that. So that's not ideal. We did not get Rashad Evans. Uh, we have Sebastian Joseph Day, but we lost our middle linebacker. So we did get the nose tackle, but we did not get Rashawn Evans. He was not interested in coming back to Tennessee. Very unfortunate. Very unfortunate losing him. So it makes uh, the whole Zach Cunningham uh, cutting him, obviously, not uh, look as good. So now we need a middle linebacker. And, uh, you know, offensive weapons still tight in another third wide receiver wouldn't hurt. So we might have to use the draft to quite a bit of our advantage. So this is going to be a tough one. So let's go back to free agency with our $14 million. Let's see what's still available. So we have Michael Gallup. I'm not going to go for that. Obviously, we do need offensive linemen, Odell, Christian Kirk. We could use another. We also need a kicker. Oh, my gosh. This is a uh, Robert Tanya at tight end might be the tight end we have to go for. What was it? What else we got? Defensive tackle. We need a middle linebacker now. So Ben Jones is here. So middle linebacker. If we take a look at what's left, we have Devondre Campbell, uh, who looks like he's not asking for a ton of money. Kazir White, Zach Cunningham, who we obviously cut. Chris Barnes, 24 years old. Okay. Who do we want to go for is the question. I'm going to go. Uh, so Devondre Campbell's cap hit would be $8 million. That's a little too much more than I'm wanting to spend. What is Chris Barnes cap hit if we got him instead? Because we definitely need a middle linebacker uh, to replace. So his cap hit wouldn't be as big. This would be a nice signing if we could get him. Let's see what that offer would be. 110 total points would be his number one offer by quite a bit. So that would be a great signing, obviously. But let's go back to top 100. And honestly, Gronk obviously would be an interesting tight end to bring into Tennessee. But I don't think Gronk would go anywhere other unless Tom Brady's there, it feels like. So Tanya and also another interesting tight end to bring in 28 years old. We do need a tight end. Uh, so we could maybe go ahead and offer Tanya in a contract. I don't really know where that gets us. Yeah, we're not even close. So don't really want to pay too much for him. So uh, Eric Ebron is here. Uh, yeah, the tight end position is kind of uh, kind of uh, not not looking too good. So uh, what are, we, we need a kicker as well. Brandon McManus uh, would be relatively cheap. So we'll grab Brandon McManus. We need a kicker. So we'll grab a kicker. And then uh, Jared Cook potentially would have to be maybe our other tight end signing. I think Jared Cook used to play in Tennessee anyway, if I'm not mistaken. So we'll offer him a contract. And yeah, other than that, it doesn't get all that great. So hopefully we get those two guys. And of course, the offensive line we're going to have to probably address through the draft. So let's see if we get all three of those guys in free agency. And that's pretty much what we're going to need. So we're going to need all of them. We do not get Chris Barnes, which was the most important one. I Okay, we got a tight end. We got a... Uh, kicker which is great but i wanted chris barnes mostly out of all of them so now we're going back to free agency once more to see if we can get our middle linebacker man this is a uh, really really unfortunate so all right let's go back to middle linebacker and uh let's see if we can get lucky devondra campbell is still here dante hightower jordan hicks bernard all right so devondre campbell i don't think this will be yeah it's not even gonna be close okay uh, who do we go for? Nick Nick Kwiatkowski, Eric Wilson, Alex Anzalone, Jalen Smith. Uh, or maybe we use this money on another position, potentially. Let's let's just see if that's possible. Um, not quarterback. I wasn't trying to go for that. Okay. Um, Zach Ertz, Odell. I mean, I'm thinking of maybe just giving this money to Ben Jones, really, if he's still here. Ben Jones, would we even be close to being his number one offer? Probably not. Um, no, we're not. So, okay. Not looking so hot. Um, what else? Let's see if there's a... Uh, Tack a guard. We need a right tackle and a center, I believe. So how long and then tackle position. Juwan James is here. So I'm looking at Matt here, and he might be the center I have to go for. 
He doesn't have any other offers. I'm going to go ahead and offer him a contract to be our center for one year. And that's basically what it's going to have to be. So uh, let's see if we get him and uh, hope for the best here. Today's video is brought to you by Price Picks. Price Picks is a DFS player props website that allows you to go over or under on players' projections. You're facing no one in the world but yourself and the numbers. Let me go ahead and show you a few examples of how it works. So on this example, I went for a flex play on Debo Samuel, Cordell Patterson, LaVisca Cheneau, and David Johnson, who were all able to hit or go under the numbers, which led to me getting $170. That's just one example. And here's another example where I didn't actually get everyone correct, but I still didn't walk away with nothing. Aaron Jones was able to hit over his fantasy score. Chase Edmonds got over 10 fantasy points, and Mercedes Lewis got under 18 and a half receiving yards. But unfortunately for me, DeAndre Hopkins did not get a touchdown in this game. If you do decide to sign up, my link is down in the description below. Use code CRUSHABLES. They are offering 100% deposit match up to $100. So we did get lucky by getting our center and Matt Paritis, which is great, or Paritis, or however the hell you say his name. So yeah, honestly, I'm still thinking with not that many players on the roster, it's still going to be tough. I mean, uh, not a ton of money. So we got a tight end. We still have our wide receiver weapons, obviously. So we're going to need to draft a wide receiver. We're going to need to draft a tackle. Um, what else do we need? We need a middle linebacker. Our defense is whatever, I guess. A middle linebacker would definitely be uh, really nice to bring in. It sucks we lost Rashad Evans like we did. I really wanted him. And the fact we didn't get him is just very, very unfortunate, man. Uh, losing him was definitely not ideal. So uh, I don't think we have any other uh, money to use, to be honest with you. We are stuck with what we have. So... Let's just go to the draft. Uh, I need to make sure we have the correct draft pick. We got our center, but now draft is going to be pretty important here on adding more depth and more talent in order to complete this roster to try to make the playoffs again here in Madden. So on draft night with like the 30th pick in the NFL draft, we're going to have to pretty much get lucky here and hope we can get something pretty good at the end of the draft. So we're going to have to drill, draft really good here, low key. So let's go ahead and see what we can grab here. Uh, at pick number 30. I'm kind of hoping Charles Cross is still on the board, and thankfully he is. We need a tackle, so no doubt in my mind I'm taking Charles Cross with this pick. I kind of need him. We don't have a tackle, so we'll have him be our right tackle. Okay, so that's going to be good. Now we have a huge gaping hole at the middle linebacker position, so we're going to go to our second round pick and see if we can get a middle linebacker. Or, I mean, low-key, if we could trade for a middle, or we don't even have a second round pick. I'm going to assume from the Julio Jones trade. Uh, but it could have been something else, obviously. We do need a wide receiver as well. So uh, drafting Drake London here does make a little bit of sense. Uh, what else do we need? Joseph Nagata, Demario Overshone. We need a middle linebacker, as we know. So uh, getting a middle linebacker makes a ton of sense here as well. We have an 80% completion rating on a tight end. But, I mean, looking at the middle linebacker spot, uh, let's see. We got round the 3-4 projection. We have, like, no... Uh, C awareness, C man coverage, C play recognition, and C catching. Okay. All right. Um, I think we just draft a wide receiver here. I'm gonna draft Drake London. I think with this play or with this pick or whoever I can get, because we do need a third wide receiver. I noticed very badly. So Zay Flowers, Jalen Talbert. I'm gonna go ahead and draft Drake London out of USC. Uh, D deep route. Obviously, you know he's not that good. I've drafted him before. 90 speed, but we need somebody in that slot position because we pretty much have no one there right now. So that's fine with me. I I, I can live with that. So. Uh, let's go ahead and get to our next pick where our low key now that I'm thinking of it with our fourth round pick kind of want to see if we can somehow convince a team with this draft pick to maybe trade us a middle linebacker which I haven't done before so I'm going to try to make a draft night trade to bring in a middle linebacker let's see if I can make that happen so with our fourth round draft pick we are making a trade with the Cincinnati Bengals to bring in Pratt here to be our other middle linebacker it's not a crazy addition but it is just a Middle linebacker, we kind of needed. So I'm not too upset with it. I'm happy with it. Obviously, our cap space is kind of chalk now. We literally have nothing uh, left after that. We do have a fifth round pick. Uh, so we'll go ahead and get to our fifth rounder and see what we can get at number uh, or in the fifth round. So let's just see what we can get after the making that trade. So uh, we have Henry here. We have another wide receiver. I mean, any of this is really going to be fine. I guess it really doesn't matter what we take. So kind of low-key just thinking about taking another wide receiver. Jalen Tolbear here. Uh, let's see what he's looking like. Uh, I'm going to imagine none of these guys are that great being this low in the draft anyway. Uh, we could also, you know, take another middle linebacker. We have <clears throat> Smith here. D release, calf catching traffic. These guys don't look that good. So um, maybe another corner wouldn't hurt. I mean, it really doesn't matter here. I'm just going to draft. Uh, I'm sure we're not going to need anybody that good no matter what here. So, all right, we got our uh, new team going into this next season. Do I feel good about it? Not really, but 
it is what it is unfortunately we we didn't have a ton of cap space not a lot to work with so let's just go ahead and take a look at what this team is about to look like going into next year so taking a look at the team after the draft it's not that great we literally have 46 players on our contract with no cap space so derrick henry julio jones aj brown you guys are just gonna have to be the man you know be the men around here i guess i don't know we don't have a backup quarterback we have derrick henry we have davis we have charles cross obviously jared cook at tight end so the offensive line isn't terrible so we can work with that obviously we have julio and aj brown which is great and then derrick henry is gonna have to be the strength of this team as he usually is anyway and defensively this is what we look like so bud dupree amani hooker chris or charles or what was his name again i forget caleb farley there we go caleb farley we have Autry, D'Amico Autry, Sebastian Joseph Day, Jeffrey Simmons, Kendrick Fulton, uh, Kevin Bird, and then Harold Landry, Pratt, and Jayon Brown. So, yeah. Uh, don't really know what to expect this year, low-key. It's going to be probably uh, not that great of a season. I can honestly predict with only having 46 players under contract that we're probably not going to make the playoffs. We're literally a 78 overall team. So, 81 overall defense, 77 overall offense. So, I don't know man we'll see how it goes not really expecting to make the playoffs this year but we all know in real life the tennessee titans are absolute dogs uh they're pretty damn good obviously being 12 and 5 dealing with a lot of injuries this year so i don't know man we'll see what happens i don't expect to make the playoffs in madden but we all know the tennessee titans are better than a 78 overall that's madden for you so here in madden we ended up finishing 7 and 10 not in the playoffs not surprised either uh the overall here in madden was kind of disrespectful so i'm not too surprised we didn't make it at all uh, so I did what you know, I did the best I could. I mean, unfortunately, we didn't even make the playoffs. I kind of figured that was going to be what happened. Uh, the eight and nine Colts won the division, though. So we honestly almost won our division one game away from being able to be in the playoffs. But unfortunately, we lost to the Colt or we probably lost to the Colts more than we needed to to get in. So unfortunate, but it is what it is. Let's go ahead and take a look at the player stats to see how things looked. So Ryan Tannehill, uh, 32nd in the NFL in passing yards, but he did have 32 touchdowns and eight interceptions. So I'm going to assume he didn't have much passing yards because obviously this team loves to run the ball. Uh, of course, Derrick Henry had 1,800 yards, 13 touchdowns. So Derrick Henry doing King Henry type stuff. Not surprised there. And then Darrington Evans got 372 yards and seven touchdowns as well. Ryan Tannehill got three touchdowns and 169 rushing yards. Receiving wise, we had Julio Jones with 1,090 yards. AJ Brown with literally pinpoint 1,000 yards. We had Austin Pro with uh, seven receiving touchdowns. Jared Cook week six and 565 yards. And then looking at the uh, defense, let's see how it looked sacks wise. Um, we had eight from Jeffrey Simmons, seven from Harold Landry, three and a half from Jalen uh, Jayon Brown. Uh, two and a half from Sebastian Joseph Day, two from Jermaine Pratt, and then interceptions wise, we had five from Christian Fulton. So he had a really good year. And Harold Landry with one, uh, Jermaine Pratt one, Amani Hooker one. And then as far as maybe defensive touchdowns or safeties, no safeties. And we did get a defensive touchdown as Kill Farley had a touchdown. So W. So probably a pick six return, I would assume. That's great. But unfortunately, like I said, the video comes to an end because we are not in the playoffs. Really disappointed. But can't say I'm too surprised with what we were working with here in Madden with little to no cap space. So um, it is what it is. So let's go ahead and see who's going to win the Super Bowl this year. All right, let's send to the Super Bowl and see who's going to make it in. And uh, we'll simulate and see who wins. So Super Bowl time, we got Kansas City and Dallas. Two of the most annoying fan bases going at it. Let's see what happens. Sim to next week. And uh, let's see. We got... The Kansas City Chiefs beating the Dallas Cowboys. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Definitely leave a like if you did enjoy. Really disappointed by the result, of course. But again, the Tennessee Titans are a lot better than what Madden gives them credit for. Damn, Julio down to 79 overall just does not even seem right. That is just crazy. But hey, guys. Thank you for watching. I did the best I could. Hope you enjoyed. This is Crushables 2. I'm saying... Peace. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you click here to watch another video that I know you'll love.